Hey guys, what's going on? Acura Amanda here. Uh, today's video is a call to action. I have uh, been facing a lot of uh, harassment and retaliation from the state of Florida. Um, I'm literally losing sleep at night. I have bags under my eyes. I have been uh, quite silent on my channel for so long because uh, this has taken a huge uh, toll on me and my family. Um, I do have a lot of sources from the inside telling me where this retaliation is coming from uh, because I want to protect them. I'm not going to disclose, you know, too much of that nature. But um, today I reviewed my surveillance footage and I come to find out that there was uh, two members from the Department of Children and Families at my door again. Um, last week, they went to my children's school four days out of the week. Um, basically, my children are telling me that they were asking very strange questions, not if they have food or clothes or anything normal of that nature, but they're basically asking them um, what my affiliation is with certain contacts that I've had from the city of West Palm Beach. And these people um, are basically whistleblowers. So I'm very concerned at this point. I do know where this is coming from. I have served uh, this one CPS worker that was here at my door this morning with a cease and desist letter. Um, unfortunately, even though I have confirmation the letter was received through registered mail, they are not abiding by it. So I'm going to have to attempt to get an injunction in federal court, and I'm going to exercise all of my rights in order to get relief from this harassment that my family and I are facing. Um, I do have sources that are telling me that they are staging in the parking lot of my children's school on the east side of the parking lot. It's uh, very troubling to me. This is a call for action, guys. I, I need your help with this. They are attacking my family. Um, I, that's why I've been silent for so long. I'm just, I'm not sleeping at night. This has taken a huge toll on me, guys. Um, I'm going to show you a clip from my cameras. Thank you guys for all of your support and help.
On my home surveillance footage, you see these two women leaving a card at my door. It appears to be Jillian John, a Unit 113 supervisor. I served her with a cease and desist. Obviously, you've seen in the video that she was at my door today and on the back of the card. These are their phone numbers, guys.